Greetings guys, welcome to the stream today. I've started a little bit earlier because I don't know how much time I'm going to have, unfortunately. So I thought we'd rather make the most of it if we can. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead here. We've actually just made our way over to Macalania at the end of the last live stream. So before we actually really get deep into the forest, because there's some challenging content. In fact, in Thunder Plains, we had some challenging content, didn't we? I'm just going to spend a few minutes uh, just grinding some of the enemies here to get some sphere levels. Hopefully we'll be able to boost up our party members then with the skills that they have available to them. And good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, I've kind of gone for a, a power start here. I haven't really checked the setup as I, uh, as I normally would. Oink me a wolf, long time no watch. Oh, good to have you here. Thanks for joining us. And hello, Roger. I'm doing good, thanks, mate. How are you? And Sid, hello, welcome. Yeah, one of uh, your favourite areas, is it, Roger? It's quite a nice, tranquil, relaxing area, isn't it? In terms of the music and the ambience of the place. Obviously, some of the enemies will want to try and interrupt that. Uh, but I'm sure nothing we can't handle. Right, so I did just loot a weapon. I believe it was for Lulu here. Uh, so let's just check this one. Was it the Sleepy Kate Sith? With the Sleep Touch? Although, I'm not really going to be putting that to use to tell you the truth right now, so we'll just keep the variable Mog active. One thing I can do, actually, is boost her magic with some magic plus 3% perhaps. Have I gone past it? No, there it is. So if we go to the customised screen here, and we can just add a couple of these magic plus 3s using the mana spheres. Oh, we can only add one per weapon since we can only have one stat. That makes sense. I guess we'll just give her the sensor as well. Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks, Curious Kinds. Cheers for stopping by today. Oh, I did play Destiny 2, Roger, when it first came out myself uh, for You're a few days. I'm not sure why I didn't stick at it. But yeah, I'll probably need to get back to it at some point. Right, who's this? Xyphos. Okay, so I've got to remind myself of the enemies that are located around here. So the last time uh, that I played was obviously on the last stream, I've not played since, so we never actually got to explore Macalania Woods back then. So we'll see how we get on here. Yeah, that's the Sferimorph boss, is it, in this place? You have to kind of alternate your elements, if I'm remembering correctly. Which is pretty interesting. I also need to boost up the Sphere points for Rika as well, since I've not really done anything with her since she joined the party, and she is going to be slacking a little bit. So that's why I'm just spending a little bit of time here, just grabbing some AP before we actually move through the area proper. And we'll just switch through our party members. Oh, thanks, Roger. Maybe it's something I could stream. Hey, Matthew, thanks for subscribing. You know, one of the things, actually, I was thinking of doing, a lot of people have been asking me over the last few weeks or so of streams whether I've played Final Fantasy XIV. And the answer is I have... Although not that much, in all honesty. So, I was thinking of maybe streaming that game if I start a new character. I'll have to subscribe to it again, since I've used it my free game time a long time ago. And, you know, you guys can come and join me as well if you want to. So, I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV. I've not really focused on the MMO Final Fantasies before. But, hey, I thought it could be interesting. Hiya, Nebula. Welcome. But yeah, Destiny 2 is a good idea as well, Roger. Is it really popular, Destiny 2, still, is it? Do you get a lot of players in that game? But well, we're getting sphere levels there, which is nice to see. So, just to clarify, guys, before we proceed too far, I do just want to go ahead and gain some AP here. But you can't be much worse than me, Roger. <laughs> so. It'll be one of those games, I think, where any bits of advice would be welcome. Since I'm far from an expert in it. I think the highest character I ever got was about level 14. And that was a long time ago. So. Oh, yeah. oh he hit. I was expecting a miss there. So I know we need Lulu on these, but I would like to try and get some AP. I think these groups of enemies do give a fair amount, actually. 
Ah, oh, the damage. The damage is extreme. Uh, will Thunder do the trick? We can save some MP. Let's just go for an overkill. Oh, okay, Roger. You see, I didn't even know there had been any expansions for it. It shows how much out of a loop I am there, doesn't it? <laughs> you probably played Destiny 2 a lot more than I have, actually. Uh, I think I did play it quite a bit when it first came out for about a week or so. Roger, have you played Dark Souls Remastered? That is also a game I would have liked to have been able to get to at some point, but haven't really had chance to so far. I can't remember if we've used uh, Kamari in this battle. Let's just go ahead and do so. As we finish him off with another Thunder R here. Oh, thanks, Scally. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well, you see. See, look at all that lovely AP you get from this place. Uh, but yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, I thought it would be a good game to stream because I know for a fact there's people in chat and people that do come in chat that are really knowledgeable with that one and a lot of people have asked me to play it. So, you know, why not? Uh, right then, so let's head back to the save point. Uh, we also have the Butterfly minigame around here as well, don't we? Although I don't think it's that useful uh, immediately anyway. So we'll try and get everybody to do stuff here for the AP. Yeah, Final Fantasy XV, I've played a fair bit actually, Vibro. I've got a lot of content of it on my channel as well if you're interested. I've played both the PC version and the PS4 version. So it will take a bit of getting used to if you're not used to the kind of more modern version of Final Fantasy. But it's actually a good game, I find. And yeah, it's been controversial at times, but it's good to see that it's, you know, expanded so much since its, and since its initial release. I actually think we can learn something here. And if you're just going to be starting it for the first time, I think there's a lot of fun to be had with it. Uh, right, I think these guys are kind of immune to pretty much everything. Let's try hitting it with a Blizzard spell. Oh no, not Blizzard. Thunder. Fire and Blizzard are out of the question. Right, and now we'll just switch some of our characters around, as you would expect. I've not played the Dark Souls games at all, Roger. I just know a few people were telling me about the fact that the remastered version was coming out. I thought it'd be a good idea to perhaps use that as an excuse to check out the franchise. How would you say it compares to God, uh, not God of War, Bloodborne? So I've, I've played God of War recently, which is why it was on the mind. Uh, Tidus and Waco, I believe, the last ones. They might get killed yes, though due to their low health. And finally, Rocker. I've got Dark Buster now as well with Waka. I don't think these guys are susceptible to Dark, unfortunately. Yeah, thanks, Roger. Yeah, let me know what you think, Vibro, if you actually play the game as well. And if you enjoy it or not. So, how shall we do this? Yeah, I have heard a lot of good things about the Dark Souls franchise. I don't think this is going to be quite enough to kill it, which is annoying. Nope, I think we're about 100 health off. So I don't think we'll be getting an overkill here, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, lots of lovely AP around these parts. So once again, 
we're going to be heading back to the save point. Hopefully we'll be able to stay alive long enough to use it and heal up. Right, okay Roger. Oh, it's interesting you've said that. I always was under the impression they were basically the same type of game. So, they're actually quite a bit different, are they? Maybe I'll check it out then. I did enjoy Bloodborne, don't get me wrong. But it'd be interesting to see how much different they are then. Mm. Just having some tea there. Uh, right then. Go for Magic Break. Commander Root, thanks for following on Twitch. Got a feeling we could end up losing people if we don't heal up. Maybe I'll bring out an A on. Go on, hit all on. Ah, oh, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, so I'm thinking next week then, we'll probably take a break at some point from Final Fantasy X. And I just need to update Final Fantasy XIV and we'll have it. We'll have a go at it. I'll be starting with a level 1 character and I'll be learning pretty much as I go. So feel free to come into the game if you're able to guys and join me. Or you can just, you know, sit back and watch if you want to share some tips. Right then, what am I doing? I've done Magic Break. Let's go ahead and bring Riku in to steal something and then I think we'll summon with Yuna. Uh, do we need to summon? Possibly not. Lil Shiriko or Shiroko, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Right, goodbye, Tidus. Hello. Have we used all on today? I don't think so. In this battle, wish. I mean. Oh, yeah, we did. We did magic rate, didn't we? All right, goodbye, Auron. Hello, Kimaro. Oh, which one's that? Code Vein. Oh, it's a new... Oh, right, okay. I was just ready to message there, Nebula. When's that supposed to be happening, then? Is that soon, is it? Or is it still a while off? Let's go for a cure on Lulu. <laughs> Probably a good job we used that cure then. I actually think Magic Break helps to uh, disrupt the damage of that ability as well. Oh, lovely amounts of sphere points now being built up. I'm not going to spend them just yet. We'll get a few more first, I think. So there's actually two bosses, I believe, around this area, isn't there? There's uh, Spherimorph, is it? Or Spheromorph or something along those lines. And then there's the mechanical boss, but that's a little bit after. Oh, oh the petrification, that's annoying. Not going to bother curing it though, which I could do. But we should be okay. Since she's the main one I need to actually power up here. She's the one that's slacking a bit. New leaked Final Fantasy VII Remake. Cloud looked more realistic. I've not seen anything leaked, Nebula. Was that recent, was it? I'll have to check it out. If some information has come out for the remake. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Vibro? They had some massive issues internally with development with that game, unfortunately. And they've been quite 
well, quite quiet about it. I mean, it's only really what other leaks and stuff have given us that we've actually found out about things, but there was all issues with the development team they were using, I believe, so they've had to go ahead and uh, switch development internally, which meant that they've lost a lot of progress on the game. I guess they just wasn't happy with what was being made or what was being done with it by the other team. So how that's going to work out in terms of when the game will be coming out, I've no idea. Yeah, it is supposed to be episodic, isn't it? Although, to be fair, the last time we heard anything about the game was a long, long time ago, in terms of the fact that it's part of uh, going to be an episodic release thingy. So whether it's still going to be or not, I'm not sure. Allow me. Go for some magic here. So I won't go for too much else in terms of farming after this battle, I don't think. Mainly because probably not the most exciting thing to do on stream for you guys. So we'll save up after this, spend our points, and then actually make a move, I think, throughout the map, throughout the area. I foresee no difficulty. Hello, Lauren. Oh, thank you for stopping by and sharing your feedback. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's what I heard as well, Roger. I mean, Final Fantasy XIII seems like a strange game, actually, to compare the size to. I mean, it was a pretty average size Final Fantasy game anyway. But, I mean, it's not really a relevant game anymore, is it? It just seems strange that they use that one as the example. I didn't actually. Dirge of Cerberus was one of the Final Fantasy VII games I didn't actually ever play. Now, I did play Crisis Core on PSP and enjoyed it very much. But Dirge of Cerberus was one I never got round to. Hiya, Kota. Welcome. How are you? I think Dirge of Cerberus, the reason I never really played that one was because it wasn't a role-playing game, was it? I'm not sure. I think at the time, it wouldn't bother me so much now, but at the time, uh, I really just wanted to play Final Fantasy role, you know, Japanese role-playing games more than anything. But maybe that's one of those games they could re-release on PS4 or something. Since they're pushing Final Fantasy VII anyway, they could actually use that to help with their marketing, couldn't they? And then it'd be a good opportunity to play it, really. Hiya, oh, Chocobo. Welcome. Ah, okay. It was just okay, was it? So, not, not anything too special, then. Right, we'll go ahead and spend some of these points here. And then we'll actually move on, I think. So we'll just go through the sphere grids very quickly, as quick as I can. Hopefully just these few extra points will help us on our way throughout this dungeon. And which way are we going here with Lulu, looks like, up here? No, it's good to have you here, Cutter. Or Kota, sorry, probably mispronouncing all your names. I usually do. I'm terrible when it comes to pronouncing people's names on stream, I apologise. Uh, but, you say you're doing bad, are you, Kota? Sorry, I think I missed the context. Oh, we got luck, new ability. 
And it's quite helpful, actually, that when Riku starts, where she starts, I should say, on the Sphere Grid, she gets a whole bunch of HP nodes. So it just helps her catch up in terms of defence, really, with the rest of the party members. And I can either spend a key here, if I want to move Kimari down into the magic area. We've got fires and thunders and stuff of that nature. Or we could just go the obvious Kimari route, I think we'll do that. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is probably my favourite Final Fantasy game. I know I've said that before. Those of you that watch my stream will no doubt be aware of that. I think it's just because of the fact that it is like the first Final Fantasy I ever really played. In fact, it's the first game of its genre that I ever really played. Before that, my gaming experience consisted of platforming games like Sonic, Mario. Which, don't get me wrong, I love to bits and I still do. Uh, but they're not, you know, obviously the same as Final Fantasy, are they? And when platforming games is gaming to you, that's what gaming is, you don't know any difference, then Final Fantasy VII was just a big shock for me, a big surprise, and one I enjoyed very much. I'll just tee this to go. Yep, yeah, Square usually do take risks, don't they, with each Final Fantasy game in changing things up, in how the mechanics work and stuff. And, you know, a lot of the time I'd say it generally works and pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. There's been a few misses in terms of the combat mechanics in Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy XIII was probably, you know, one of the most controversial Final Fantasy games for the fans. And Final Fantasy VIII had its issues as well, I think, although overall, I really do like that game. Guardian should fight, not think. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII, one of the main problems with it today, I think, is that it hasn't really uh, aged very well. Just grabbing some tea, I won't be a moment. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is a wonderful game for those of us that played it when it came out, or, you know, had played it in the past. But more recently, for players that haven't really, you know, delved into that game, then, as I say, it just hasn't particularly aged all that well, and that does put people off. I know for a fact it puts people off, because I've had people tell me that they can't bring themselves to play it, which is a real shame, because it is such a great game. I haven't really played a whole lot of Monster Hunter, so I did try and stream it when it first came out, but I couldn't really get an audience for it. So I gave up on it in the end. But maybe when the Final Fantasy stuff comes out for it, we can have a look at it. I did see the crossover content for it announced at, uh, was it E3 I think, wasn't it? And it looked fairly interesting, I thought. Yeah, I think that was one of the main problems with Final Fantasy XIII, was the linearity of it. It did tend to put a lot of people off. Right, so let's just go ahead and finish this guy off. I don't know whether I can be bothered too much with the butterfly game at the moment. Can anybody think... If the butterfly game is required to be done for anything at this point. I know you can get some uh, semi-okay rewards from it. But I just can't really be bothered with it right now. I'd rather push ahead to the bosses and stuff. I don't think we'll be losing out if we skip out on it at the moment, will we? And we can come back later for it. <laughs> Bearing in mind that I am just going for a kind of laid-back playthrough here. Oh, overkill. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Uh, I haven't really used Discord all that much, Kota. I have for various groups and stuff that I've chatted in in the past. But I don't think I've got it installed at the moment. The butterfly needs to be done before and after for Kamari's key for his ultimate weapon. Oh, you have to do it now, do you, Roger? Oh, that's... Off the top of my head, I thought I could come back for it. Okay, well, good to know. Hi, Daniel. Thanks for joining us, dude. How are you, mate? Uh, let's go ahead and summon... Ixion. I would actually like to keep the overdrives filled for the Aeons, because they can be super useful when it comes to doing damage on the upcoming boss. Oh wow, talk about fast attacks. That was pretty insane. Right, got you, Roger. Yeah, it sounds like we need to do it then. Oh, it didn't die. Hopefully it won't kill us. There we go. Yeah, interestingly, a lot of people have told me that Final Fantasy X is their favourite Final Fantasy. And yeah, you know, I've put so many hundreds of hours into this game over the years. I've not played it for about five or six years now. So I'm just going for a laid back playthrough here. But yeah, it's a good one. Right then, so what was I looking at? I was going to do something then. can't remember what exactly. Uh, Macalania Wood Central. So this should be where the butterfly thing takes place. But we might have to go ahead and, ah. There's one, but we can't start it yet until we speak to somebody or something, can we? Uh, I think it's gonna be a long, long time for Final Fantasy VII, unfortunately. And that's mainly because it's just had so many issues, I think, internally with development and stuff. So I reckon still a lot of years before we uh, see that one. Right, we actually have to touch one of these butterflies to start it, but I couldn't seem to do it there. So maybe we have to touch one of the ones later on. And yeah, I know Auron isn't going to be great for hitting these things, but needing to do a move. Yeah, you get those high potions, please, Riku. Could do with them. Oh, I've got that feeling in my nose. You know when you got a sneeze coming, but it's not quite ready? Enough. We've had some pretty manic weather over here in the UK in terms of heat. And I think the pollen is just all over the place right now. <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy X is a good one for new players, actually. You're right. I've not really thought about it like that before. But no, good point it is.
Oh, everyone's running a little bit low on health here. Probably have to heal up after this fight, I think. No! There's so many status effects around this place, which makes it just a little bit trickier, in my opinion, than some of the places, the areas that have come before. Do some more Phoenix down, actually. He's <laughs> still not dead. Right, let's get healed up, shall we? I've been stealing quite a few high potions. So it looks like we can afford to cast them here now. And which way was I coming from? I think we're going this way. Maybe. seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. What? If anything happens to her... <sighs> Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. Fort. Guard your emotions, then guard your summer. <sighs> You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aran. What's up? I'll tell you what, oh, I've just finished playing just Chocobo. Wish him good luck. A game called Ori in the Blind Forest, and it's one I would definitely recommend. I really enjoyed it. I've not played it before, I'm not sure why, but it was on Steam sale. A lot of people have recommended it to me in the past. I thought I'd pick it up, and I had such a good time with it, I really did. It only took me about, I think, about 12 hours to complete and get everything, but it was well worth the money because it was just such an addictive game. And there's a sequel coming out for it as well. I don't know why I didn't do a delay attack then. Uh, but not to worry. Hey, we've got silence off. In which case, we'll go for panel break. Yeah, a game I'm going to be getting into soon, I think, is going to be Final Fantasy XIV. That's the latest Final Fantasy MMO that came out a few years ago. And I'm probably going to be streaming it, so I'll be looking forward to getting some tips off you guys. Those of you that have played it anyway. So please do keep an eye out for that next week. Let's go through all the characters here. Who have we not used? Have we used Luke, Yuna? Don't know. Do it again, just to make sure. I think what I need to get is some kind of system of what I wanted to go to the characters. And I think we've summoned everybody now. Just bring Waka back. In case the uh, silence wears off.
Aqua Breath is an ability you can learn, just in case some of you have joined us over the last few minutes or so, but I did learn it when we first entered this area. And who am I looking for now, Auron? Just to help finish this guy off quickly, I think. I foresee no difficulty. And I'm actually going to bring Lulu back since she can over kill the enemy force for that bit of extra AP. Lovely stuff. Right, there's a chest I need to grab. Uh, have I missed it? Possibly. Yeah, I think it's round here. There it is. One of the things I completely forgot about Final Fantasy X until I started playing it again was just how many enemy encounters you get in this game. The random enemy encounter system is uh, quite intense. You only really get to take a few steps and you're in battle again. Right, so we're looking for one of the blue butterflies now to start the little mini game off for us. Said our train. Hello. How are you doing? Lulu running a little bit low on health there. A bit worrying. Yeah, welcome guys. I can see a few more have logged into the stream. I hope you're all having a nice weekend. As we're just sitting back and chilling here with Final Fantasy X. I'm just going to go ahead and heal Lulu, I think, before we go any further. Start getting rid of some of these rubbish potions. Oh, that's no worries, dude. Good of you to stop by today. Destiny 2 is a cash grab. Is that something to do with the expansion, Phoenix? I'm not really well versed in the old Destiny franchise at the moment. Is it me or is Kamari doing a lot more damage uh, since we spent his sphere level points? I'm trying to think what I invested them in. I think it was the stats. If you've played the PS3 or PC version of the remaster, then it's pretty much identical. In fact, if you played the PS3 version, you don't even get a new set of trophies, unfortunately, since they carry over from your PS3 account. A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. Right, so here we go, the butterfly hunt. I think we get about 40 seconds or so to touch seven of the butterflies.
this one counts. Got 35 seconds left. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go away. Where are they all? Do they... They're all red at the moment. There's another blue one. Oh, there was one there. I didn't even see it. Ah! Go away, red. Did we do it? Did we get all seven? No, I'm guessing not. Do that. Tita sort of had a hissy fit or something afterwards. I wasn't actually counting, but we didn't get a reward, did we? So no, we can't have done it. But how do we restart the darn thing? Ah. We have to reset the area. One. Two. Avoid the reds like the plague. Or we get thrust into battle, I think. Oh, crud. Almost got that one then. Oh, what? How did we hit that? I went round the outside. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, we'll get to the battle. Whoa, these enemies are tough. Lulu didn't actually kill that enemy. Somehow. Oh, oh, okay. I see. It was actually one that I needed to hit with fire. Gotcha. Makes sense. Right, let's switch some of these guys out here. Uh, we'll bring all on in temporarily. I haven't really done it on this playthrough yet, the Lightning Challenge, Destiny Lover. But I think it does just take practice more than anything. And what is going on? Oran should be doing more damage than he is. Now let's bring Wakari. And resurrect Tidus here. Can't see who's targeted. There we go. Yeah, you need it for the uh, Celestial Weapon, don't you? Goodness me. I don't know why I'm struggling with this battle so much. Forty-five. Why? Why would you attack Tidus? I'm not even going to bother resurrecting him. We'll just heal him after. Yeah, good point actually, Roger. I completely forgot about that until you mentioned it. The no encounter trick armor thingy is really integral, in all honesty. And we're just going to have to start this again, I think. I don't want to risk not having the health in case we hit any more of the red ones. No, no, no. Wait for the time to run out. I 
Right, we'll try that again. This is actually the easiest form of this particular side quest as well. That one doesn't count. Right, one. Two. There was a red one we hit around here a few moments ago, wasn't there? Three. There it is. There's another one. Oh, no, that was it. That was it. Okay, okay. Right, you've got to go around the other way. I can't quite tell because of the flipping angles there. Oh, goodness me. Right, Lulu can take care of one of these. I'm just going to get through this battle as fast as possible. Yes, that's the one we want. I think. Amjad. Oh, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Right, I'm going to bring... Ixioni. Try and get through this battle quickly. Oh, he's got no health. I forgot. Didn't heal him up. Okay, maybe we'll go for one attack here and then get the heck out of here with him. Hmm, Airbus Spark didn't do anywhere near what I thought it would do. Okay, well, we'll leave uh, Ixi on. Oh, he's lost his overdrive gauge, that's terrible. Needed that. Trying to be a little bit cautious here. You do not want to underestimate these guys. Uh, nope, want to keep Lulu. Tidus. Miss me? Oh. That heals, okay. Uh, anybody else that I haven't used Kamari, I think. Maybe. Yeah, Blitzball is probably one of my favourite Final Fantasy mini games, actually. Should we carry on trying to do this? How many have I got? Is it three? Let's say it was three. So that'll be four, five. Dodge that one. And that one. Oh, uh, this is where things get tricky. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. I think we've got six of them now, though, haven't we? Yeah, I do struggle with the first Blitzball game, to tell you the truth, that you engage with, the one that you have to do as part of the story. I mean, you don't have to win it, which is a good job, really, because one of the hardest Blitzball games. Amjad, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Uh, Tidus. And we'll just start doing damage to this guy now, I think.
But I think Oran's lost the piercing ability because he doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of it, I've noticed. I need to check out his weapon. Oh, I think we just ran out of time. And the last one was like right there. Right, we're going to heal up and we are going to do it this time. I am sure of it. Okay. Right, let's go for it. The reason I'm doing this is because you need to for Kimari's celestial weapon. Right, one, two, there'll be another red one around here which we want to avoid, and another one I think. Right, blue, three. Carefully does it. And this time stay to the left. Yep, yeah, just like that. Four. Four. Five. Right, this is the tricky one now. Ah, six. That's good, that's good. Seven. Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. And there's our reward. At last. Oh. Thanks, Trey. Yeah, it doesn't normally cause that much of a struggle for me, actually. I think it's because of chatting at the same time. I wasn't able to put my full concentration into it. But hey, we got it. So we're going to make our way over to the next area now. We could actually do it here. I think it's this area, isn't it, Roger? Macalania Woods North. I'm pretty sure it's this one, you know. We need to find the butterfly first though, don't we? I'm pretty sure anyway. He's got the ramp there. Yes, yeah, some of the angles in this zone are a little bit awkward. Because the branches just kind of wave all over the place, don't they? We're going to bring Waku in. Use him to silence. If it works. Nope, not Dark Attack. Oh, thanks, Phoenix. Appreciate it. Yeah, have a good kip. Good sleep. Right, silence didn't work. I'm not going to spend all day on it. We'll go for one more attempt. Got it. Nice one. And I'm still going to go for Magic Break because of his Aqua Breath. Oh, thanks, Nebula. I am actually trying to make my way through now as well. But this Butterfly side quest is something we do need to do. Uh, who's next? Let's go for Lulu. Hi, you Wes. Welcome, mate. Thanks for joining us today. And I think Yuna is the only one we haven't used in this battle. Yeah, sorry guys. Hope this isn't too annoying for you. I know I'm switching characters a lot and that. I'm just trying to get the most out of our AP gains right now. Uh, who should we bring in next? Just Auron, I think. Oh, I need to check his weapon, don't I? Seems to have lost the piercing ability on whatever it is that he's got equipped. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, Amjad. Fun game. See ya. 
Oh, I didn't get an overkill. It's a shame. I think we would have got about another 600 AP had I done so. Right, let me just very briefly check Auron's weapon here. Oh, he has got piercing. It's just his weapon sucks, apparently. Okay, fair dues. And it's another one of these guys. Ugh. Right, paddle great. Let's go for a normal attack. Kimari has by far got the strongest physical attack out of every member of my party at the moment. I can't remember if that's typical early on in the game. Yeah, you certainly have, Wes. You certainly have. Saves you having to sort them all out later on anyway. I uh, probably shouldn't have used Unit yet because she's great at getting overkills. Uh, if I use Tidus, yes, he did delay attack. So, Yuna. Oh, will you please? There we go, Waka. Just quickly get through to Yuna. So we can overkill this guy. Yeah, so when you get an overkill, every member of the party gets an extra 50% AP from the fight. Which is pretty awesome, to tell you the truth. Grab the chest for the remedy. Oh, I hate these fights. These are like the worst of them all. Um, trying to think best way to do this. We'll bring Riku in just to get some AP. Yeah, see you later, Daniel. Right now, this is where things can go horribly wrong if we're not careful. Nice, nice overkill now. We weren't getting overkills on these guys when we were fighting them for the butterfly mini game, which was a little bit confusing. Miss me? Yeah, it is a pretty good thing if you can get an overkill. Makes quite a big difference. But you do have to have a party member perform at least one action in order to get some AP. Which is why I tend to just switch through them all here, as you can see. And do something. There we go. So many points to spend. Uh, am I going the right way or the wrong way? Right way. Right, we're so close now. So close to the next area. And I believe there's a save point in the next area as well. Which, by golly, is something I need to make use of. <laughs> I 
Indeed. We'll come back to Lulu in a moment because she can actually overkill this guy for that massive extra AP that we'll get from it. We get Silence Attack off. That'll trivialise this fight. There we go. So this is why Magic Break is still somewhat useful. Hey Tony! Oh thanks for that and that's no problem at all, you're very welcome. Alright then Roger, just saw your message there dude. Yeah, I will be playing Final Fantasy XIV next week, though I only have, or will only have, a level 1 character to start with. But yeah, I'm looking forward to streaming that since a lot of people have asked me to do so. And any tips, advice or in-game help if you want to join me would be very much appreciated indeed. Maybe you can just send me a message at... Oh! The only thing is, I don't know whether I'm going to be playing on PS4 or PC. I've actually got the game on both systems. Hmm. That's an interesting dilemma, actually, yeah. since I know there'll be people who will want to, me to play it on uh, both. But I really need to pick a system and stick with it. Can you have cross-play with Final Fantasy XIV? I'm guessing you can't, can you? No problem. Well, I'm pretty sure we've gone through everyone here. Maybe... Oh yeah, we did use Rocker because he did Silence Attack. What are we on now? 29.59. Just need to lower his health enough for Lulu to be able to one-shot him. That should be enough now. Oh, if it's cross-platform, Roger, that would just be very, very helpful indeed. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, James. Thank you. Uh, right, let's go just back to Lulu here. And this should overkill this guy. There we go. Oh, so close to the save point now, which is helpful. We've made a lot of progress. If I get a power cut or a game over or something. Oh, is this the butterfly we can touch, is it? The enemies are just relentless. They don't give you a moment's peace. Dear, dear. Yeah, I actually remember playing Final Fantasy XIV. I think it was the beta or something before it was a Realm Reborn. And I have heard it's a lot different now than it was then. Okay. One. Oh, reds everywhere. Two. Get it. Three. I reckon there is a way to avoid that. I just failed at it. Come back to Lulu shortly. Alright, oh, Shiroko, enjoy the World Cup. Uh, it is starting now, is it? Oh, wow, I thought it was later this evening. Yeah, see you later, though. Thanks for stopping by. We'll get Kimari some heals going here, I think. 
Oh, what does hail you now? Allow me. Let me break the ice. Let's just cast some ice magic for a change. Doesn't really matter on this anyway. Uh, who's not been in battle? Maybe Tidus, perhaps? Yeah, goodbye folks. Thanks for stopping by, those that joined but are leaving now. Appreciate it. Go on then, Lulu. Finish this guy off. Right, be careful because there's another red thing flying around here. I think that's four, is it? Or is it three? I think that's five. Six. This is either six or seven. Nope, we did it. We did it. Great stuff. Uh, where did the chest go for this one, though? Either way, oh, there it is, look. We can make our way back now. Right, so that's the first two butterfly side quests done. Oh, you gainer, Garner. Uh, Final Fantasy X, you get used to it, actually. And it's not that complicated when you do. It's like most of the Final Fantasy games, really. There is a bit of a learning curve. But once you've got it, you've got it, if that makes sense. Right, so we'll go ahead here and just whiz through the sphere grid. Power up our team even more. Tidus can learn a new ability now as well. Slogar. Interesting stuff. Uh, that's coming up quite soon, isn't it, Roger? Unfortunately, mate, I'm probably not going to be able to because I didn't realise I'd streamed for over an hour already and I have actually got to get some work done. So I think I'll be leaving that for the next stream. But yeah, it is a fun fight, isn't it? One of the more interesting ones. You have to use physical attacks, if I remember, don't you, to detect uh, what phase it's in, what element it is in, so it casts a spell at you. And then you can respond accordingly. Yeah, what I'm going to do then, guys, the plan is to just go ahead and spend our ability points here. Then I think I will need to take a break for a bit. And I'm going to probably be interspersing Final Fantasy X with Final Fantasy XIV next week. So hopefully you guys will, you know, want to join me for that as well. If you've got any knowledge of the game, especially Final Fantasy XIV, then please do come and join us. And I'll appreciate all the help you are willing to offer. Is this the best way for Kimari to go now? Hmm. Missed two nodes there. Can't really be bothered with those right now. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it, Roger? I think you can use physical attacks on it, actually. That's as far as Kimari can go for now. But yeah, I'm guessing a spell will do the job as well. Cura, very good. Mm. 
Right, Yuna's becoming a lot more white magey now. Oh, thanks for the tips then, Roger. Oh, cheers, Cosmic Tron, and welcome, by the way, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, actually. A lot of people have been asking me to play on stream uh, Final Fantasy XIV, and I've been reluctant to do so because I just haven't really got the experience with that game. Level 14 is the highest I ever got, and that was a long time ago. But then I thought, hey, what the heck? You know, it would just be a new experience to do, and why not do it on stream? People want to watch, then I'm happy to play. Yeah, definitely, Roger. As long as you get the right elements, then using Veil 4, Ixion, and Ifrit are a way of just basically destroying a load of his health, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Not a whole lot, unfortunately, of points to learn here. Of stats, but may as well. Hiya, Homer. Welcome. Yeah, apologies to those just joining. I will be logging off from the stream momentarily. But next week we're going to be picking up with the Sperry Morph uh, boss from Final Fantasy X here. But also, it seems, with a bit of Final Fantasy XIV as well. A game I've never covered on my channel before. I don't think I've done a single video on it. So that'll be a first for me. But a lot of people have been requesting it. And there we are, we're done. I got a nice boost to stats there. Okay, Roger. That sounds like a plan, dude. I'll schedule the stream. If you're able to come, then fantastic. If not, don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll pick something up uh, after. What's that in Final Fantasy XIV, Nebula? I'd have to check it out myself, actually. I'm not too sure right now. Alright then folks, well I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today, so thanks to everybody that stopped by and joined us on stream. And, like I said, next week then we've got plans for Final Fantasy X, carry on with Macalania, but also Final Fantasy XIV as well, so I'm quite excited for that one, hopefully you guys uh, will have a good time with that as well. Oh, thanks Roger. Lulu, Oran and Yuna. He actually gives a ton of AP as well. So one thing I'm probably going to want to do is just switch every party member in at least once in order to commit to one action. Thanks, Garner. And thanks, everybody else that joined us today as well. Right, I'm going to go ahead and... YouTube's this time where the stream health has dropped to Amber. I'm not sure why that is, but it doesn't really matter now anyway because we're finishing. All right, then, guys. Well, take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, best of luck for those of you with countries in the World Cup, although there's only four left now, so... And only two of those can get first place. But yeah, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.